Yeah, okay. Welcome to a new video in the repertoire series. This time um, we talk about um, the Dutch defense, D4, F5. Um, yeah, I took um, quite a, a long look at, um, at this. I have tried um, quite some, some varied slides myself there. Um, I was tempted to recommend some sideline, but at the end I um, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to recommend this just some just some main lines, but it's um it's really difficult to to um look at these in detail as it is um, really complicated. Um, one thing I'd like to suggest if you um are an active aggressive player and you like to look at some uh, sharp lines um, before the game and then uh, try them out. Um, it's actually um, the very old Staunton Gambit with E4. Um, it is quite interesting. There's, uh, there's especially one line this is, uh, which is uh, tricky. Um, here knight f6 is um, of course the main move. Um, you, time and time again in blitz games you get this one and just pick up the pawn in the game. So <laughs> it has got some, some easy tricks also. Um, now bishop g5, and uh, here by far the main move for black, I think also the best one, is knight c6, d5, knight e5, and then um, queen e2, which is uh, really a tricky line. Um, I won't show it um, in detail, because it's it's really um, yeah very tactical and, uh, and complicated, but I think it's an interesting way to play. I think... Um, you shouldn't uh, just play this um, without any uh, preparation at home. But if you take a look at this a little bit more closely, then I think it could be a very dangerous weapon, um, especially um, for games with a shorter time control, as Black's King is often a problem here. Um, yeah, um, this has become also somewhat popular. It was a really rare line a couple of years ago. I remember that I looked at this uh, really, I don't know, five, six, seven years ago when I just had, uh, I don't know, a dozen games or something and uh, I, I, I did a refresh um, just today and found that it was played, I don't know, 150 times or so by now. So it is really has gotten, um, it's, just, it's gotten some popularity going for it. So it's, it's interesting. Um, but um, I think... Um, at the end of the day, it's um, it's still the main line that I should recommend. This is um, always just G3. And um, of course, uh, Black has um, various setups here um, within the Dutch. I think there are mostly uh, three setups. Um, you can talk of this as um, one is the, um, the Leningrad variation with G6. Um, the stone wall with e, e6 and d5 and the classical dutch with e6 and d6. Um, let's um, start with the stone wall, I think. Knight f6, bishop g2, um, e6, and then c4. W what, what's important here is that you don't play knight f3 too early. Of course, you can do that, but... Um, the particular idea I have against the stone wall, or I have I have picked uh, <laughs> from the lines. It's not my original idea, of course, is to um, to to place the knight on h3. Um, this would um, run something like this: d5, knight h3, c6, castles, bishop d6, bishop f4. This is the idea of the knight placement that. If black should take here, you can um, very nicely recapture with the knight here. Um, black now most often just retreats the knight, uh, the bishop, in order to avoid the exchange. And then very often, black continues like um, knight d2, castles, queen c2. Um, in general, I would recommend um, not to study... Um, too much um, of uh, concrete lines here. Um, the stone wall is really a purely strategical opening. So um, 
it's a good idea to to look at um, at some games here. Uh, just pick out games of um, high rated players and to check how they handle this position um, on the white side. Um, I think it's better than to just look at uh, concrete moves. It, it's you need to get some ideas how to how to play there, um, especially uh, when it comes to piece placement. Very often a good uh, way to place the pieces is the knight, this knight to f3 and this knight will often try to go to d3. As on d3 and f3 the knights have got the best positions here as they cover all the, the dark squares like c5, e5, g5. You need to really study some games. Um, an interesting point here, if black plays not d5 immediately but starts with c6 which is a clever move order you shouldn't play knight h3 because black still has got the option to go for a d6 and e5 setup and then the knight would be quite silly on h3 it's uh, important to know that um, you start with this tricky move <laughs> just a waiting move which is um, useful useful in much cases and now black needs to commit somehow and usually he just returns to the stone wall here with d5 as he doesn't want to place the bishop on this rather passive square and now d6 can be just answered with knight d2 and e4 so this is a useful move to remember this position of course um, can also easily arise from d4 e6 c4 f5 the d4 e6 c4 f5 move order um, yeah, that's it um, for the stone wall, really. Um, just as I mentioned, um, in order to fight the stone wall correctly, you really need to uh, study some games. And I cannot uh, show a couple of games here. So pick out uh, moves by um, games by good players and try to figure out um, how they handle this uh, position. Um, another alternative here, of course, to d5 is just bishop e7, bishop f3, castles, castles, d6, the so-called classical Dutch, um, which is, I think, um, more dangerous than uh, it it, uh, it looks at first sight. My recommendation here would be to um, go for a quick b4. This is, I think, an interesting way to play. The main line, of course, runs knight c3, queen e8, rook e1, and then e4, which is very complicated. I don't want to um, go into all this uh, technical stuff here. One interesting way, as mentioned, is b4. The idea is, for instance, knight e4, bishop b2, bishop f6, knight bd2. To get some um, room uh, space here on the on the queen side, and if black uh, plays, for instance, knight c6, you have always the option to attack it directly with b5, and send it to some uh, less active square. Um, I think this is a good way to to handle this position with b4, which also avoids um, lots of um, really sharp lines. The, at first sight, this position of blacks looks um, rather passive, but it can it can be deceptive, it can be very active and um, this is a good idea to, to avoid the main lines where black maybe um, has got more knowledge um, than, uh, than we have as of course this uh, variation is not played that often. Um, but the most common way um, of playing the Dutch nowadays is of course the, the setup with g6, uh, the Leningrad variation. Um, I recommend knight f3, bishop g7, castles, castles, d6, oops, <laughs> of course white's move, uh, b4. <coughs> ah, pardon me. Um, uh, b4, d6, bishop b2, c6, c4, this kind of setup. Of course black can also play d6 and queen e8 or um, maybe play quick h6 and g5 and so on. Black has um, some some other moves he can play. But in general, I also recommend this setup, which is rather similar to the to the classical Dutch. If you compare this position to the classical Dutch position, we had um, the knight on e4 in the final position, and Black shuffled the bishop from e7 to f6, 
and this is um, somewhat similar. Um, Black also might play uh, knight e4 at some point, and he's got the bishop on the long diagonal. Um, in general, this b4, bishop b2, b2 setup makes it um, <clears throat> harder for Black to achieve the the um, desired move um, e7, e5. And um, White has ideas to expand on the queen side, but also <clears throat> still breaking um, in the center with e4 at, um, at the appropriate moment. Um, just to, similar to, to other Dutch lines, I recommend to um, pick up some, some games and um, um, <clears throat> and check how uh, high-rated players um, um, play this opening. Um, I think it's a, it's a good idea here, especially. Um, in general, it is a, a bit difficult to learn the lines here, um, let's say, move by move, as uh, Black's position is um, yeah somewhat slippery. You can play all kinds of moves, let's say, Queen e8 here, or knight a6, or king h8, or h6, and so on. And it doesn't make any sense to, to look at uh, specific um, moves there. Um, just have a look um, how the games develop if uh, good players um, play this. Um, I think on a grandmaster level, um, there are basically two lines now played against the Dutch, which is the main line with knight c3, which I didn't uh, recommend here, it's also fine, of course. This is um, is this line here. On and the the thing I um, the the line I um, showed you with before. These are the two main tries against the the Leningrad Dutch. So it's uh, it's easy to find hundreds of games and just filter and uh, check out uh, how the the highest rated players uh, handle the position. Um, yeah, the Dutch can be uh, a tricky opening to face, um, and it's also one opening uh, where often um, White feels provoked to 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 show something um, special or, or to to punish Black because f five is supposed to be uh, yeah maybe uh, a risky move or something. But uh, yeah, it's also an ambitious move, and uh, players um, who opt for this. Um, often, um, I think, um, handle the kind of unconventional positions rather well. So you, uh, I think, um, should prepare yourself with studying some uh, some example games you know, to to not be surprised what kind of um, counterplay um, Black might uh, come up with. Um, yeah, I think um, I think we are we are through with the Dutch and. Um, yeah, I think that. Oh, uh, there's there's one line actually I, I didn't I didn't mention. Just um, in this move order, of course. Besides uh, the things I already have shown, oops. Um, black also um, can give the check here, and um, this is um, also interesting. Um. I actually um, recommend to, to play it simply also with um, bishop d2. Moves like knight c3 don't really fit into this position. The combination of the bishop on g2 and uh, the knight on c3 um, very often doesn't um, yeah doesn't really work well together. Um, just this move uh, should be fine. Um, you um, need to be aware that if, if black captures here um, um, which which piece you uh, now now take with? Very often it is uh, is um, is better to to capture with the queen in order to um, get a more active placement of the knights on f three and c three. So um, let's say castles knight c three d six, and then uh, white might even <coughs> go for a quick e four here. In general, um, the bishop b4 line um, is playable, but it's it's not so ambitious. But uh, okay, still you can um, you can face it, of course. Yeah, I think that's it um, um, for the Dutch defense. Um, and I think um, I'm almost through with all the openings. Um, the next video will deal with I think um, 
yeah, really the odds and ends that, that are still there. Okay, thanks for watching and um, make sure to catch the last video as well.